have some kind of vague memories of playing with sticks and seeing it as something you could use to build with. So you see something built out of sticks, you know, you've got an immediate feeling of, of attraction to it and also a bit of memory. Well, I think artists always just move ahead with their ideas and make up the reasons for it. Really started with the fact that the material was available as part of urbanization. Uh, you know, every city has uh, the forest being cut down on its edge and uh, the, what springs up are all the saplings. And I thought that might be a good source of material for a sculptor that was poor. Our projects usually last three weeks, so we work uh, three full weeks on the project and then uh, it's done. For this particular piece at, at the Botanic Garden, you know, I was really interested in some crescents I saw, just a picture of some shrubbery really, and I decided that I would take on the idea of a crescent and a one that uh, had a group of crescents that uh, allowed people to go in. Let's, see, let's take that one and put it over here in this. We took a drilling machine and drilled holes around the perimeter of it. And then we set our scaffolding around bits and pieces of that, around one crescent at a time, and tied those uprights to our scaffolding so that we could uh, we could pull the shape we wanted. So in a way, we're we're really molding the shape we want and then once it's set we got our volunteers to go in and to put a structural weave on it that is going all different directions with sticks to freeze the shape it's great working with my son sam uh, when he graduated from college he decided to sign on and travel with me from childhood on we've been making projects together I often partner with organizations and I use their volunteers of that organization to help me. It helps embed the sculpture in the community and um, you know those folks they talk to you and they carry what it is and what they think it is, what you think it is back to the community, invite their friends and, and their families over to look at it. And so it's the best form of advertising as well as, as getting labor. Okay, you're always trying to excite people's imagination, and one thing that seems to do it is if you, if it's not a, a single event, you just go in something. So if you're able to explore a bit, feel like you're lost, uh, maybe for a minute, not really see the outside world. I, I like the idea that there's uh, uh, temporality in, in art. You know, sculptures generally where their sight out after a year or two. I mean, it comes to what you think sculpture is and what it should do. I think it's transportive. Sculpture is transportive. I think it's a, a way for people to get in touch with more of their feelings. You know, I think it speaks to the human condition and makes you feel uh, capable of understanding the nuances of, of, of your humanness, you know, you look at something, you have a lot of feelings about it, you're able to describe it better, you're able to indulge yourself in those feelings, recreate those feelings. I think that it forces people to go to the essentials of what a good piece of work is. It's not really something to buy and sell per se. It's how it makes you feel.